This is the end of the American dream for this man. He has a Mexican voter's card. Who authorities believe crossed the border on a raft, walked for five days, and then ran out of water. His arms scratched by the brush. And for this woman. She's only 24 years old. Authorities say she drowned on the Rio Grande and had been in the water for three to five days. Her body is so gruesome, we can only show you her clothes. They are two of more than 1,500 migrants who died on the Texas border since Dr. Kareen Stern started tracking the deaths after joining the Webb County Medical Examiner's Office in 2007. Majority are heat stroke, hyperthermia or heat stroke and dehydration. She tracks migrant deaths across these 12 South Texas counties and says this year has been deadlier than recent years. Typically our busiest months are July and August and we're not even there yet. Last year by this time, 45 migrants had died on the border. This year that number has nearly tripled to at least 128. And 30%, says Dr. Stern, tested positive for COVID, and in some cases considered a contributing factor in the deaths. Saying this as a physician, there is a safer way to do it than coming across the border. Despite the deadly dangers, the flow of migrants is on track to surpass a 2019 crisis, the last time a migrant search occurred, mostly due to poverty and violence in Latin America. In May alone, border authorities encountered around 180,000 migrants on the southwest border. The current surge, in part driven by the misconception among migrants that the Biden administration was allowing migrant families with young children into the country. Border Patrol's Laredo sector uses horse units to rescue migrants from some of the most remote locations. How dangerous is this terrain? Um, dangerous, it, it, it's very dangerous. According to Border Patrol Deputy Chief Carl Landrum, more than half of the nearly 8,000 migrant rescues conducted nationally have happened here. To gear up for the most dangerous and deadly months of the year. So you can see here the uh, actual mobile beacon right there. This sector is deploying 13 beacons like these to help migrants call for help. Mm. This just takes it to a whole nother level, much more efficient. It's all solar powered. It's never going to run out of power. And it's very visible it's very from visible. different locations. Yeah, Those beacons coming too late for some migrants. Why do you think they would put carpet on the bottom of their shoes? To erase their footprint. Exactly. One by one, the items of both the man and the woman are documented. All are clues about who they are and the dreams that were cut short. And even if you say to yourself, oh, it's worth my life, I'm willing to risk my life, think about your family.